Hey everybody, I'm Allie and welcome to Strategically Helpful. In today's episode of my Overly Organized series, I'm sharing the creative and wallet-friendly organizing hack, or you could also call it an IKEA dupe, that I came up with for my IKEA packs slide out tray inserts for organizing accessories like your watches or your sunglasses that help me save $68 by hacking Ikea with Ikea. And I'm gonna share the other Ikea dupes I found that saved me even more money. This episode is one of 29 creative organizing solutions in this series that I'm doing as part of the F29 video challenge by publishing a video every day this month because it's leap year. The playlist of all the creative organizing solutions I'm sharing this month will be linked in the card at the end of this video. So check that out if you're interested in even more organizing inspiration when you're done with this video. Last year, I completed a closet makeover with the IKEA Pax wardrobes and the IKEA Calyx units. And one of the features I included in my makeover were the slide out compliment trays that IKEA promotes as perfect as is, or paired with the complement inserts to hold smaller items such as glasses or watches or belts. So in my instance, my pullout tray is the middle size Pax wardrobe, which measures approximately 30 inches wide and roughly 22 inches deep. Ikea offers two different inserts for my size tray. One is $65 and then the other one, which is my preference, is the $80 one. And although those prices aren't excessive, they were still more than I wanted to spend for an insert. So I went in search of an alternative solution that would offer the same functionality and hopefully would also achieve that similar aesthetic because I really liked the inspiration that Ikea was offering. I just didn't want to pay that price. So I did a lot of searches online and I went down a lot of Pinterest rabbit holes, but to my surprise and delight, I found the solution at Ikea of all places. It's their $12 up to Terra adjustable organizer drawer insert, which is in their kitchen section. So the up to Terra is a thick, somewhat firm felt, not velvet like the complement tray inserts. And it's a darker gray rather than the light gray. But as far as I was concerned, I was more than happy to overlook those minor details if it meant I could save $68 and still get basically the same look and the same functionality. Now the Up to Terra insert isn't the exact same size as my complement pullout tray, but I was able to pair it with three of the boxes from the Grazidan set of five boxes. And I own these from an earlier shopping trip, but even if you add in the $15 cost for the set of five boxes on top of the $12 for the insert, you're still saving $50 versus the other complement tray insert, which is a win in my book. So while I was shopping in the kitchen section, I also found this matching dark gray up to Terra drawer mat thinking that it would be the perfect liner for the tray that I was gonna put the Up to Terra insert in, and then also thinking it might be a good solution for the liner that I wanted on the tray that houses all of my workout shoes, and then also for the tray that I have dedicated specifically to be my folding space. And then I found a dupe for that Up to Terra mat at the Dollar Tree. So these doormats are very similar in pattern and in material to the Up to Terra mat. And although they are a smaller dimension, I was able to cover and line all of the surfaces that I wanted to for less than the cost of two of the Up to Terra mats. And I was super pleased that the dark gray doormats at the Dollar Tree matched the Up to Terra drawer inserts so everything went together and looks like it was all one set. I did end up using some fabric glue to glue the pieces of the Up to Terra drawer insert together for added structure and to make sure that the whole unit stayed assembled and it's still going strong a year later. And the bonus of that Dollar Tree shopping trip was that I also picked up these white and black and brown baskets which ended up being the inspiration for the entire color palette of my closet. So the brown faux leather handles on these baskets inspired me to use these brown leatherette patches for all the labels on all of my bins. So there you have it. Today's creative organizing solution and how I hacked Ikea with Ikea and the Dollar Tree. <laughs> My hope in sharing these organizing solutions that work for me is that you might find value and inspiration for a creative solution that'll work for you and your organizing needs. 
If you found value in this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to catch my other content. I'll be sharing a full tour of my closet makeover next month, plus what worked and what didn't work along the way. And let me know in the comments below if you're inspired by this solution and think you might be able to use it in some way in your space. As always, friends, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on my thumbnail. So I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, have a good one.